Hello, here's a video uh, to help with a percentage prep on the 29th of November 2012. Um, we're talking about percentages of amounts, finding percentages of, is what, finding, excuse me, percentages of amounts. Uh, we agreed in the lesson today that percent, the sign means percent, and the percent is a Latin phrase meaning out of 100. So if you get 30% in a test, that's like getting 30 out of 100, and you can write that as a fraction. And of course, you can simplify 30 out of 100 to 3 tenths. So you could think of it as getting 3 tenths of something right, maybe. Um, we established, or we discussed the fact that if you can find 50% of something, or 10% of something, or 1% of something, you can use those amounts in different combinations to find most percentages of most amounts. Uh, we agreed that 50% was the same as 1 half. And to find 1 half of something, we divide by 2. We agreed that 10% was the same as 1 tenth. And to find 1 tenth of something, you simply divide by 10. And we agreed that 1% was the same as 1 hundredth, 1 out of 100. And that to find 1 hundredth of something, we divide by 100. And I suggested to you, as I say, that it would be possible to use those three quantities to find various percentages of various amounts. We'll look at a few questions together. These will be on the sheet that, um, if you're in my set you're doing tonight, um, are the first questions from each of the first three rows on the sheet you have. The first one is 51% of 620. OK, on the right-hand side, we've got those building blocks, let's call them. We've got the 50%, 10% of 1%. And let's look at the 51% of 620 and ask ourselves, how could I make 51% of something using those building blocks? Hopefully, you understand that 51% can be made by finding 50%. And by finding 1%, and then adding those two quantities together, because 50 plus 1 is, of course, 51%. All right, let's find 50% of 620. 50% is the same as a half, it tells us over here. And what is half of 620? Dead right, 310. 1% is the same as 100th, so we find 100th of something by dividing by 100. We have to do 620 divided by 100. When you divide by 100, the decimal point in the number moves two spaces to the left. One, two. So that means 1% is going to be 6.2. I write it carefully in columns like this. And I add my two totals together, 50% and 1%. 0.2, 0 plus 6, 1, 3. There's my total, 316.2. Now. Okay, carrying on. That's the answer to the first question. Um, let's look at the next one. The next row down, 16% of 320%. Using the building blocks, I think 16% can be made with 10%. We can halve that to find 5%. And then we can find one more percent. And 10 plus 5 plus 1 makes a total of 16% if we add them together. 10% of 320 is 320 divided by 10. Half of 300, so half of 32, bigger pardon, will give us 5%, and that's 16. And 1% of 320 is 320 divided by 100. Move the decimal point two spaces to the left to divide by 100. 3.2. Line up the numbers carefully so that you can add them up without mistake. 0.2 in the units. 2 plus 6 plus 3 is 11. Carry the 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1 at the bottom makes 5. Total answer 51.2. One more example for you before you do your prep. 95% of 460. 95%, now listen, you could, yes, you could find 50%, and you could find 10% and times that by 4, and then you could find 5%, and you could add all those together to make 95%, but actually, why don't you just take the number you started with, 100% of the total, all of it, and then find 5% and take that away from the total because that will leave you with 95%, won't it? So all we need to do here is find 5% of 460. What's 10% of 460? It's 460 divided by 10, which is 46. And half of 46 is 23. So 5% of 460 is 23. I'll then take that away 
0 minus 3 I can't do, I have to borrow, so I'll borrow 1 from the 6, I'll leave 5 and put it there. 10 minus 3 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus nothing is 4, and that gives me an answer. 95% of 460 is 437. Does that make sense? Well, I would say it does, because 95% is nearly all of it, isn't it? And 437 is nearly all of 460. My answer is credible. There are three questions done for you, using our building blocks of 50, 10, and 1% in different combinations to find the percentages we want to find of the amounts we are given. Hope that helps you get going.